Now here we are again. Nice sunny day. Not been doing a lot. Still kicking stones about. <laughs> uh, so today I thought we would. Well, you can have a look at the van, the state of the van, poor van. Um, everything's ripped out down there. Let me just move this charger. Hang on. Uh, the battery exposed. All these cables exposed because I needed to trace this fault. All these cables are fine. All these cables are fine. All the relays are fine. All the fuses are fine. Like I said, uh, ECU fault. So forget about that. The van's not going anywhere. It's a bit of a state. Not even had a wash outside for months. Um, what I'm going to look at today is if you've got a sprinter, uh, any age, because they're all the same, the the rust on and the bodywork is shocking, terrible. Now this one I think has had a, a, a respray because there's some overspray on the lights and things like that and uh, that wasn't me, <coughs> excuse me, that wasn't me. So somebody's either touched it up before or the whole thing's been resprayed because it looked like, you know, really bad. So what I'll do is I'll show you where the rust is and uh, what I'll do is I'm just gonna, I've got the daughters up in bed, wife's up in bed with her so I've got a, an hour or so, so I'm gonna buff down the old rust back to metal and put some I've got some primer uh, rust proof primer I don't know if I get it all done today and then I'm basically gonna paint some um, I've got some marine paint which is like it's pretty resistible to uh, rust and that because I live right by the coast it just it doesn't help it, it just makes it worse um, so yeah so I've gone for the marine paint a little dearer than automotive paint but it's the same kind of quality and they're slapping it on ships at sea all the time and rigs probably so you know it must do something so we'll, we'll try it and see what it looks like I'm gonna use a roller may not be the best idea but I, I couldn't get it in spray tin form um, and plus I think a roller will just you'll just have a bit more control make it a bit neater than watching the wind blow spray everywhere so I'll show you the rust to start with <coughs> Right, so, let's just move this out of the way. Right, so there, that's just some of it. See on the bottom door panel, I've touched it up and sprayed it before, but it, it just keeps coming back, it's just not going away. So all that's gonna need done. And then if we go to the side door here, I mean, that's pretty rough. It's not the worst, but I put that uh, rust beater on it, it kinda eats into it beats the rust and then here that's all bubbled up along the rail um, wheel arch is starting to get rusty I'm gonna actually spray all this wheel arch the same what I've done is I know I showed you how to get these back to black with the heat gun but because this has been sitting another year in the Sun um, ugh, it's a waste of time it's if you were doing it regular it would probably stay the, stay the way it should but it's just I just haven't been near the van for like a year so what I'm gonna do is spray this portion and this portion before it starts to get rusty um, I the whole lot it's gonna be a whole strip along it's gonna be dark color like that but I'm gonna do this bit as well to, to kind of match it in wheel arch style and then look at this this is terrible I mean obviously that's just run off but so that there basically because of this lip all the way down here, that catches anything that comes off your front tire from the verge side. And it's just, it just gets basically sandblasted, especially if there's grit and salt on the road. This side's not as bad as the other side. I'll show you the other side. Let's have a sneak round. Right, so the back, I've did these two panels before because they were really bad, but it's creeping in at the, creeping in at the edges. Super annoying. Um, let's have a look at this, this side's terrible, this side's actually got a hole in it. I found a, le I found a leak in the van, could not find where it was. Was messing about here one day, came round to this side, and lo and behold, it's rusted a hole right through. If you can see that, push it up a bit. That's just flaking off. So all this is getting going to get ground down. Um, again, the bottom's bad. Right down here, these flies are out again today. I've, like I said, I've used that rust eating stuff and that seems to have slowed it down, but it's not going to stop it completely till I grind it back to metal, get rid of the rust. 
and this, that actually this this side's not as bad as the other side just because of that door I mean there's a few bubbles starting here again I've touched up these bits here it's flipping an iron I can't stand rust but just the price you pay for living right on the seaside I mean basically well you can see the sea from my garden it's right there um, so yeah that's today's little chore um, I'll take you into the <laughs> I don't want to call it a man cave because it's a disarray of things <laughs> let's see if we can have a look in here in my shed So there's stuff everywhere. Because I'm a collector of junk. Um, where is the stuff? Ah, it's, it, right, here we are. So this is uh, Hempel Brilliant Gloss Pure White. So high gloss top coat, flexible, easy to use with high UV resistance. And if you read in the back there, it tells you all about how it works against salt and blah -de blah marine elements. Yeah, resistant to salt water and pollutants. So let's hope so. <laughs> if so, if it's resistant to salt water, surely it's resistant to salty air. But you never know. So yeah, I'm gonna roll that on. Obviously, grind that off, touch it up, and then use that stuff to um, paint over the top. I've actually got some of this as well. Hammerite stone chip. That's in white. Uh, I don't really want white on the bottom again. I want to go black or dark grey. But for now, I might just... It says it can be painted over anyway, so... Protect sills and lower body panels against stone chip damage, so... Maybe I should throw that on. I've got it. I've actually got two of these. I might just do that. I might just throw that on and... Uh, I can just paint over the top of it again. But that's, that's today's little job. So I'm going to do that first. Um, well, I'll, what I'm going to do is grind it down so you can, you can, we've well, seen it now how bad it is, so I'm going to take that black plastic panel off the door and then grind it back um, to metal. I've got a flappy, flappy paddle for my grinder and same, I'm going to do one side at a time, isn't, I'm, I haven't got the time to do it all and I don't want to grind it all off and then leave it and then it rains or something, it's not forecast for rain for the whole week so, but we'll see. So I'm going to do that, then I'll, I'll come back and show you the uh, like the marine undercoat, which is like a red oxide paint. And then by that time, maybe I'll get a, another, well, it's going to hit a it dry. It's quite a soft kind of stuff. It takes a while to bond. <coughs> it may even need sanded down a bit because it's quite, it goes on quite thick. So I'll do that and then uh, show you that bit and then show you the, the white painting bit. All right, hope everyone's good. And... Uh, Keeping up with the way life's turning out to be. <laughs> See you in the next one. Okie dokie. That's somebody just walking by there. Uh -huh. Right, so just taking the plastic panel off. What a mess. <laughs> Have a look here quickly. Now you see where the, the rust stemming from. Obviously this is the bit I could treat. I could see but obviously I didn't get into Look at that. So that's the first lot that's going to get ground off. So when you're taking this panel off, obviously there's clips. But this clip and this clip, this one's still there, is a screw. So you've got a screw in from behind here. There's a screw there. Screws in and out. Uh, Torx head. Like all Mercedes bits and pieces. Um, Alright, so that's the next thing. I'll buff this down quickly and then let you see it. Look at it. 